Okay, so let us take another problem on computing fractions, right? And this is about time. So let's read the question first. The question says, what fraction of a day is 1? There are two questions actually. 6 hours and the second is 8 hours 30 minutes. Right? So let's seek an answer to both of them. Now, in a day, how many hours are there? We know there are 24 hours. Right? So what is the question asking us? The question is asking us what fraction of a day or what fraction of 24 hours is 6 hours? So instead of telling directly that what fraction of 24 hours is 6 hours, okay? Right? The question said what fraction of a day is 6 hours? But it doesn't make a difference. I mean, they can't fool us like this right? We understand that a day is of 24 hours. So in order to compute a fraction, I told you a fraction has to be written how? A upon B, right? Where B is not equal to 0. In our case, A is what? A is the numerator or the number for which we have to compute the fraction, which is 6. And B is the bigger fraction. Actually, if you see this is the smaller fraction, this is a bigger fraction. I mean, it's not normally the case that there cannot be a fraction where B is not greater than A. Yes, there are many fractions where this happens and we are going to see them in subsequent videos, right? But A normally, in case of proper fractions, is A is normally less than B. However, let's ignore that for the time being. So 6 out of 24, right? So 6 out of 24 is the fraction, right? Now what I can also do is that one of the rules of the fraction is that if you multiply both the numerator and a denominator by same number, if you multiply or divide numerator or denominator by same number results remain unchanged. Now why do I, why am I telling you this right now? The reason for telling you this is that 6 upon 24 is a bigger number. Normally the idea should be to reduce the fraction as low as possible. If you notice these two numbers, both these numbers are divisible by 6, right? So what if I divide 6 by 6? I will get 1. If I divide 24 by 6, I will get 4. So I can also write this as 1 upon 4. This fraction in simplified form can be written as 1 by 4 also if you divide both the numerator and the denominator by same number. Let's see the second part of this problem. This says 8 hours 30 minutes. Right? 8 hours 30 minutes. Right? And a day is how much? It is 24 hours. Now the problem that The problem that we have here is that while one of them is into hours and minutes, the other one is into hours only. So the solution to this problem can be that you can convert either both of them into minutes. The unit in case of fractions have to be the same. So either convert both of them into minutes or convert them into hours right? So, I'll do both of them for you. So, 8 hours 30 minutes. 
Now how many minutes do you have in an hour? We know that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes, right? So 8 hours will be equal to how much? 8 into 60 or 480 minutes and this is what 8 hours and 30 minutes so you add another 30 minutes to this you get 510 minutes so 510 minutes vis-a-vis -vis 24 hours now 24 hours can be written as 24 hours or 24 into 60 right 120 plus 24 144 so 1440 minutes so you have to compute 510 minutes out of 1440. So you can write this as 510 upon 1440 and this is a fraction that you get. Again, you can solve this fraction by dividing it by some number which divides both of them. Right? But I am not doing that simplification for you at this stage. But my request is that once you are through with the proper, improper and mixed fraction problem that I tell you in the subsequent videos, you must come back and solve this 510 by 1440. That is the answer you will get.